us go for a train real world this side of Derby Midland Station. That's Derby Midland Station, not just Derby Station. It says it up there, Derby Midland. Let's go on cross country this morning. Cue the intro. We're taking that one, platform one. So this one's going to Bristol Temple Meads, wrong way. So is this going to be another one that we see? Uh, let's see if we can see the Virgin badge. Yeah, try and pause that. At the front is a badge, the center at the front. It always has that, even though they've repainted it, the Virgin sticker is still like visible on there. You can see it on that one as well. But yeah, so weird. But yeah, this is a Voyager 220, class 220. We're going to be on one as well, but we're not going to be on a super long one. We're just going to be on a one set, one car set, one car set, whatever it is, one set. This is a double. Um, but yeah, it's running well, it's running late, so it should be. Ah, oh, here we go. So yeah. It leaves here at 9.45, it should have got here about two, three minutes ago. So it's now arriving, which is good. So we get to see that come in. And uh, yeah, let's shut up and uh, watch it come in. And look at the, look for the badge, look for the badge. A double ah my journey back isn't a double right let's get on we're on uh, coach J I believe so that's coach G I so we're on the next one on J let's uh, climb aboard so we are aboard unfortunately coach J doesn't have the reservations all the other coaches do but this one doesn't which means every person for themselves on this train so I had a table seat but unfortunately I don't have one because it's been taken because there are no reservations so yeah that's a bit annoying you do all that to get a reservation and yeah unfortunately when there's no reservation everyone goes for the seats that they want whereas the other carriages do have reservations anyway uh, still got four minutes before we leave so yeah so uh, start getting comfy. This is quite a nice screen. Look at this. Look at that one. Thank goodness I'm not that side. <laughs> so we've had the beep beep, beep beep. So we are ready to go. Welcome aboard passengers at Mega Sim Pit. We are off to Yoik. Now that is for work. So we're getting the train to York. Cross country. We're not going to the York Museum because um, I've got work all day unless I get to finish earlier but I can't remember the times of the NRM and I think you still need to have pre-booked tickets to get in so yeah I'm not really going on there um, but yeah going there for the day going to do some work which is nice so had to get a train of course was trying to get a first class seat but it was uh yeah so east Midlands railway website they said that i could get an upgrade for nine quid each way but it kept failing so i think it was just something dodgy going on it just didn't like it so i had to go for standard oh let's listen good morning and welcome Anyway, so yeah, um, so I got a standard ticket. Uh, then there is, I'm not sponsored, but there is uh, a, an app called Seat Frog. Uh, what you're able to do is you're able to bid for 
for a first class ticket. I did try and do it on the way out. Um, and I was out big quite a few times and I was like, my budget, I'm just gonna say a tenner. That's my budget. And it sold for 16 pounds. So unfortunately didn't get the one out, but I'm trying to get the one on the way back. So you never know. Um, wanting to yeah see see if we get it um, so yeah I'll put a tenner max it's like eBay you know where you bid um, so I might get first class on the way back I might not but I only find out an hour before I leave so I'm just gonna leave it and when I get to the station if I have it we go in first class if we don't you'll find out because you'll see the next video on the way back it will be night time but I'm still gonna do a bit of a video even if it's down a class to look inside and stuff like that. But you know what it's like when it's pitch black, you can't see a thing. Um, but yeah, if it is first class, it might be a longer video just to kind of showcase all of that. Might take a walk to the uh, coffee, you know, the uh, drinks and thingy place. Because uh, I don't know if there's a trolley and they just announced, oh, we're in coach L at the back and we're in J, so JKL. So might pop over and have a look uh, might not video it i don't know see how it goes but yeah i will wait till we go past belper of course because you know home station and all that but yeah look Ooh. <laughs> right let's wait for it so this is us now approaching belper we did slow down um to it must have hit a double yellow or a yellow or something and we're just trailing behind maybe Maybe the Matlock service, not sure, but yeah. So yeah, coming into Valpa, um, was at the food fair on Sunday, so I did have, did take a video of a cross country going through, which was actually quite cool. Uh, so I was kind of not up here, the other side. Uh, so yeah, that was cool to see. I think it was there. And here's the station. And there's the mosaic. Yeah, Belfer Station. So yeah, um, I may, if I remember, put in the Sunday video in now so you can have a look. And uh, yeah, let me uh, get up now and go to the uh, food and drink. So, uh, what was it? We had £2.40 on East Midlands Railway. We had £2.10 on Avanti West Coast. And £2 on Cross Country. And all three have different um, tea bags. The uh, yes. best one so far, tea bag wise, would be Avanti. But it was hot. I think it felt like the water was too hot. So, it did burn my mouth. And it did take like over half an hour to cool down. And that was in just one of those paper cup things. But um, with cross country we've got twinings and east bend as well where we had pg tips so yeah don't mind but yeah had a nice chat with the uh guy down there so uh yeah they uh they're not doing the trolley service at the moment um so what they're doing is they're actually going to the very end of the train where you know the train manager would sit or guard or whatever so he's got everything stocked up there fridge and things like that so yeah, he had his confectionery and you know sandwiches and drinks and things. But yeah, um, but yeah, he's been going on. He's been out since three a.m. this morning. Well, that's when he was up. So he's probably had a train down to. Would he have had a train down to Plymouth and back up? Maybe not. That's a bit too long. But yeah. But yeah. So uh, yeah, he's been up since three, which is a long time. Um, but yeah, I've got my cup of tea. Two quid. Ain't bad at all. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for that to cool down, then we can put the milk in and stir it, and uh, and uh, yeah, 
have a nice cup of tea. Um, what what would be your choice when you're on the train? Will it be a cup of tea as well, or would it be a soft drink? You know, let me know in the comments. But yeah, so we've done three so far. Um, not sure if we're going to have any other trains because they're kind of the usual ones that we go for. Uh, here's Chesterfield, so we're not slowing down yet. So are we actually stopping at Chesterfield? Probably not. Because yeah, with East Midlands, you usually stop at Chesterfield. Uh, oh, we are slowing down, are we? Well, let's see. Oh yeah, there's the uh, twisted spire there. Uh, oh. There's the station. Oh, there we go. There's the station. We're going straight through it. See ya. It's weird not stopping at Chesterfield. Um, see ya. What is your drink of choice? Anyway, let's get back to it. So yeah, let's open this up and see what we've got. Oh yeah, we can do it now, can't we? Uh, let's just focus in. Aha. So, we've got our twining. We've got anything uh, branded on there? No, we've just got vegware, veegware. So nothing uh, branded cross country. And I think we've got a uh, a leaf on that as well but nothing from, yeah nothing cross country uh, branded it's very brown bag type trying to uh, help the uh, planet with that so yeah I know it's bad that I'm having this but yeah if we get the uh, first class on the way back which hopefully we will um, we'll get free tea and coffee oh, as long as they're stock that's the thing because I spoke to him and I said you know about bacon sandwiches and things and he went you just got be careful because they might not have stock because these trains go from Plymouth and all sorts and you just don't know what's going to be in the train when you get on so yeah I'm not getting a bacon sandwich that's you know that's only in the morning but on the way back not sure what I'll get <laughs> the problem is is you get a chili con carne if you are 90 minutes or more but my journey back is an hour and 16 not an hour and a half because I could have chosen two trains. I chose the one that was the quickest, that left the 25 to eight, instead of the quarter to eight. Whereas the 25 to eight takes an hour and 50, hour and 16, but the quarter to eight takes an hour and three quarters. So yeah, don't really want that. But yeah, all right, let's uh, crack this uh, tea open and let's have a look. Because that this this clip is taking so long. Look at this, we're already on five minutes. This video is going to be long, so apologies there, everyone. I'm just having a bit of fun. Off to Yoik. Also, forgot to uh, We got this. So, if you remember on our previous video of Train Real World, we got this on our Avanti meal deal. Well, I've still got it. So, that's what I'm going to be having with my cup of tea. Uh, Dor and Totley. So, that track there is the one that we go on on the East Midlands to Manchester so we're on that track and then we go round and through the Peak District so yeah look at that great timing uh, just missed it it was the uh, train wash I was just uh, looking at some messages and then went oh no it's the train wash we always like looking at the train wash see so yeah, it just coming into uh, Sheffield oh look there's a 158 Northern and a 15. Oh, I didn't see it. Another northern on the uh, down there. Oh, there's two. So yeah, Sheffield is our station call. So yeah, cross country. They always seem to shove them over to the left hand side, don't they? Uh, there's nothing in the uh, station that I can see. But remember, we have uh, cross country. We have Trans Pennine. Express, we have Northern and we have East Midlands Railway coming to Sheffield so that's what we get here be a good station well I say a good station the uh, <clears throat> there's not many train different types of trains that come here but it's cool to see though isn't it that's fine but I believe it is run by East Midlands Railway I believe I hope so saying it now and I'm doubting myself 
So yeah, we're here for a couple of minutes um, and then we uh, head to the next station. Whatever that is. Is it Leeds? Might be. Sorry, just want to make sure that we get this right. Wakefield Westgate is the next stop, not Leeds. So Wakefield Westgate then Leeds. Funnily enough, Chesterfield is listed on the real-time trains. Let's do that again. Real-time trains um, have said that Chesterfield is a stop, but it's not advertised. So maybe it only stops if there is a ticket that's registered to go there. But how many tickets do you need? to get the train to stop. Is it just one? <coughs> Is it just one ticket? Not sure. If I see uh, the train manager, ticket lady, whoever, I'm gonna try and ask, but if you know, put it down in the comments. If, if there's an unadvertised stop, but it does say that it should, how many tickets do you need for the train to stop? go we've heard the uh, beep beep so let's go are we going and uh mr driver or miss driver driver man lady person come on there we go there's the beep so let's go It's a good cup of tea, that is. I do like Twinings. I know it's the only the everyday tea bag, but I do like it. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, Wakefield Westgate. Um, have I been any further on here? Uh, oh, I can't think if I've actually gone further than Sheffield. Um, yes, I have. I've been to Leeds. Uh, went to Leeds a long, long time ago, about almost 10 years ago. Uh, but I remember because, yeah, I went to a, maybe it was about eight years ago, but yeah. But yeah, Sheffield, it's the tram. Nice. We are going quite slow through here. There's the, there's the speed limit change of 70, so when the back of the train goes through, hopefully we'll speed up. No, we're slowing down. It's not really the same, is it? Come on. There we go. Back of the train's through, so let's start speeding up. Wait for Westgate next up. Look at that old track. Look at that. Oh still there but yeah all the sleepers are still there um be on the right hand side any second now i can't see now there's a lot more passengers on board but should be uh meadow hall so yeah meadow hall should be on the other side now oh look the railway oh this is an interesting station is this a an old disused station that's uh, still here. Yeah. Look at that. That was, that was interesting. <laughs> I don't think they're laughing at me, but yeah, we're stuck at a red. Wow. So there's the M1. Um, we just went past Meadow Hall Interchange. I wanted to do a speed test because we're in 5G on she Sheffield. Um, and I was like, oh, what's the speed? 14 down. Oh, well, that's not 5G speed, is it? That's not even 4G speed. <laughs> so, yeah, that was pretty pretty bad. But, yeah, so we've gone past Meadow Hall. Meadow Hall was on the right. I could see, like, the Sainsbury's garage there, but just can't see much else because, you know, that window is all steamed up. You know, condensation has got into the window and uh, trains full. But yeah, so Leeds is the highest I've gone on the train, the furthest up north, so it'd be nice to go to York. And I know, I wish I was going to the NRM, but not today. Oh, 
just caught it, look at that. That was cool. So yes, going through to Westfield Westgate. This ain't bad. It's a good phone. It's a good phone to have. Battery life is pretty decent on this. Um, hopefully the picture looks good. So yeah, we did get a, a new phone at the weekend, which was nice. Look at that, that's nice isn't it? Nice, nice view. <laughs> Just arriving into Wakefield, Westgate. I like doing this, so here it is another question for you. Why is Westfield Station called Westfield Westgate? Why is Westfield? Yeah, Wakefield, sorry. Why is Wakefield called Westgate? What's the Westgate for? Gentlemen, now on the approach to Wakefield Westgate. If you are leaving us here, please do have a good look around. <coughs> please make sure you take all your belongings. Do take care when stepping from the train to the platform edge. So, yeah. Thank you for travelling across country today. Wakefield Westgate is our next station call. Yeah, let me know. What are your thoughts? Why is it called Westgate? Is it because it's like Derby Midland? Is that kind of the reason? I'm going to try my hardest not to look. I want one of you guys to let me know in the comments. But if you are going to answer, because when I put these videos out, I forget what I talk about. So if you just put Wakefield Westgate is called that because of, you know, put that so I know what you're talking about instead of going blah, blah, blah. And then I go, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, Wakefield here. And then, yeah, after this, next stop, Leeds and Mundo. <coughs> oh, I thought I heard the beeping, but I think that's more of the beeping of uh, get ready to go, not go. Uh, but I can hear the... the uh... There we go. So, yeah, the station... So yeah, at the station they're whistling, trying to get people on board. But yeah, here we go. There's no other trains here. I've tried looking on the right hand side, but look at that LNER. There's the LNER guy there. Look at that LNER brand and stuff. Because yeah, we are on an LNER uh, run station. And talking of LNER, you know LNER is run by the government. I know this is old news by the time this video comes out, but Southeastern have been told to uh, hand over full control to the government. So Southeastern are no longer going to be run by Govia uh, by mid-October. So yeah, what do you think of that? Do you think uh, the government will rename it or will they keep it the same Southeastern? I was saying on uh, Discord when it, the news came out, why don't they call it Network Southeast, NSE? <laughs> that'd be cool, seeing those colours again and seeing that logo. That that would be actually quite good because, you know, with British Rail, you know, kind of bringing it, reining it back in a bit more, that'd be cool to kind of see that again. Um, but yeah, see how that, here we go. We've got our overhead lines here because of our Azumas and our... 225s Intercity 225s um, but yeah what do you think do you think they should rename it or do you think we're just going to stay the same with the blue because uh, it was only early this week they had those new trains from Southwest trains you know coming over and taking over so yeah so it's quite good oh no that was a northern I think uh, but yeah so yeah the uh, southeastern becoming government controlled once again do you think they should all be government controlled again? That would be nice to kind of get that one thing again. But, you know, when you've got the likes of France, Germany and all that with a lot of their SNCF and, you know, RER and DB trains, you know, it's all the same. It's all like one brand, isn't it? Mostly, 
mostly I'm not I'm not saying it isn't but even then like in France you've got the Wego which is still in there it's mm. NCF so it's still owned by the same company but um but yeah do you think there should be like one one brand in the UK again British Rail once again or will we all will we always have separate brands I think if we are going to have like that I think they should kind of go back to the uh the original days we've got LNER we've got GWR let's try and go back to the original names and original um liveries that would be nice because that's the thing it's it's nice to go back to the history you know just using history to help um the trains and you know i know you'll probably say that it used to be bad and awful and all sorts of things with you know um timetables keeping to it and all of that but you know there are other countries that are able to do it why can't the uk do it why can't the uk keep to their timetables i know cross country is a bit weird because it crosses so many different lines and if it's just a little bit late it gets stuck behind something so that will always happen but, but yeah what are your what are your thoughts I really do want to go on a cross-country HST, but they just go the opposite direction to where I want to go on the times of day that I want to go. But I will eventually go on one. But yeah, cross-country, if you are watching this or listening in or you know anyone from cross-country, I'd be very happy to help and, you know, do a little uh, video on that. Because, yeah, that would be cool. Because I know you guys like my Train Real World videos as well as Trains in World and all that. But yeah, these last couple of weeks have been really busy with work and training and stuff. So that's why... There haven't been many videos but i warned you you know i did say i pre-warned you saying that there's going to be very little the next couple of weeks but yeah thank you for bearing with me um but yeah this is a really long video i'm really sorry i think this is going to be well over half an hour because <laughs> these are uh, little little bits where i'm just rambling on um <laughs> just keep going but yeah so that was wakefield next stop leeds okay approaching leeds I like to see when this train's long enough and we've got the uh, curve round. So we get to see the train. <clears throat> so at 170 coming towards us. Was a northern, a northern one seventy. Interesting. <laughs> Do you know what? To be honest, I had no idea northern had one seventies. Really didn't. <laughs> so yeah, we're just waiting for our um, thing to come. Now my, the audio may change, but oh, look at that. Uh, times three. Yeah, it's going the other side, isn't it? Yeah. It's annoying, but we saw it. Let's go back to one. So yeah, my previous phone had a times two zoom, whereas this new one has the times three. There's an over. Oh, look at that. Can't do it for long because I don't want to uh, upset people. Um, but yeah, oh, how cool was that seeing the Nova? Love to travel on that one day. I, I tried to on this journey, um, but it was just going to take too long. It was like um, York to Leeds was on the Nova, and then Leeds to Derby on cross country. But yeah, it just it just took too long, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go back and got the quickest train so tonight's quickest train will be back you know <gasps> yeah Leeds I think the last time I came up to Leeds was on East Midlands Railway um, on the Meridian oh look <laughs> oh look at that This is good. I'm enjoying this. 
So apologies for the uh, video being so long. I think the reason why it's so long is because we don't do this one often. The videos are longer, whereas if I do the London all the time, I just take bits as I go along and they, the videos are a lot shorter. But because we've not done this trip before, we're going the whole hog and, you know, just doing as much as we can. Uh, oh, it's that one, isn't it? Yeah. I haven't seen that one in the flesh. Yeah, welcome to Yorkshire. So yeah, this is Leeds and the next stop is uh, York. I know I keep saying York, but that's because of no York. But yeah, York is the next stop. Can you see what that is? I'm trying my hardest not to get other people in, but that is just arrived. It's going the wrong way, it's going south, but there she is. So I'm trying not to get people in, but we get to see it, we get to see it, but I just thought this would be a better video out of uh, Leeds. Interesting, you can zoom in and out when you are on one and but you can't zoom out to 0.5 and vice and if you're on three you can't zoom out to one. So yeah. But anyway that was cool to see. So yeah, off to York now. Oh there we go, sorry bit of a quick whoop. <laughs> so So yeah, we um, usually park. We may have already gone past it and I've just not noticed, but yeah, we uh, usually park around here. Ah, down there. That's usually where we park. But yeah, you got the uh, Leeds Kirkgate Market just over there. It's actually a good market. Um, it's a really nice market there. Good food places. It's big John Lewis and uh, Zap Thai. Oh yeah, Zap Thai is pretty good. Um, there is a Zap Thai in York, but it is expensive. I've not been to it, but it is more expensive because it's York. Um, but the Leeds and the Nottingham pricing are the same, so yeah. But I prefer the Leeds one. The Leeds one actually does the food a lot nicer, just the way that they present it. Uh, I'm not sure what I get. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like duck and rice. Um, and in Nottingham, they put it on the plate with the sauce, and the sauce just gets soaked up. But in Leeds, they put it in a bowl, the duck, and they've got tons of sauce. It's amazing. But yeah, next station, Yoik. Sorry, York, York. <laughs> I keep going for Yoik, but York. Oh, just caught it, look at that. Love it, look at that, Zuma. Got the 225 there, got Northern, 158. Gorgeous. Freight the other side, so that's fine. Ooh, look at that regional railways barrier vehicle. So, yeah, that's Neville Hill depot. Oh, Neville Hill, that's where, um, EM, yep, there's the OA. This is where the East Midlands Railway HSTs used to be at Neville Hill. Oh, that's so upsetting. Oh, yeah, Neville Hill is where the HSTs were stored, um, for, um East Midlands, one of the places. Oh, history, eh? Oh, lovely. But yeah, that was cool to see though. Just about managed to see it. I was like, oh, there's the Yuzuma. And yeah. Did you see the uh, 08? I think it was an 08. The uh, East Midlands Trains one. Well, East Midlands Railway, but it still said EMT. But yeah, never been further north than Leeds, so... This is fun. T 
typical. <laughs> I was like, that's a nice view. And then the hedges come and then it's like, oh, great. I thought that was a really good view of the field there. Look at the sky. Oh, there we go. That's gorgeous. She's having to pay for a single, which eight pound fifteen. I don't know. I don't know where she's come to, gone to. So I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. How much she actually paid, but yeah, she should have been on an LNER train, not cross country, um, because the ticket does state just on LNER, not other train companies. So yeah, unfortunately, she's having to uh, cough up. Um, to get a single but yeah on the way back um, they've advised that she gets an LNER on the way back um, to not be penalised so yeah that's what happens you need to read your ticket if you do get one make sure that you are getting the right train um, I've got an advanced single which is specified for this train only um, but even if you get an open return or anything like that you need to read the ticket because if there are a number of different uh train companies that run on this route you need to make sure that you choose the right one because if it says any well you can go on any but what she's got is she's got a specified one for LNER so that's why she's got to pay for a ticket but yeah little mistake hopefully that won't happen again but yeah just thought I'd let you know guys now on the approach into York York is our next station call again for those of you leaving please have a look around Make sure that you have everything with you and take care of getting on the train to the Blackpool. York is our next calling point. Okay, York is our next call. Where we will be getting off. So uh, we've got all our stuff. Uh, got our rubbish as well to put in the bin. But yeah, that's been quite fun. I've enjoyed this. Hopefully you have too. We'll say our goodbyes when we get on the platform. Thought I'd do, uh, you know, going into York Station. Not sure what way we we are, but oh look, National Rail, welcome to Yorkshire. Nice. Okay, so we're coming over here. So the camera might be up there for uh, for it. Oh, there's no 37s here, but yeah, we're in York. Let's get off. There's an Azuma just approaching. I thought I'd get off and uh, video it anyway. Let me just put my bag on properly. There's, there it is. This is our cross country. Camera is over there. Um, if I remember, picture going in of our train approaching, if you haven't already seen it. Yeah. There's our train, and look, can you see the badge there? Look, see the old Virgin badge there? That's uh, what we've got. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk to the end of the platform, just so we can wave at people on the rail cam. That's what I wanna do just so we can kind of go, hey everyone, it's Mega Sim on the end of the platform saying hello. So if you did spot me, let me know in the comments below. 
I know a couple of you knew, so I've uh, I put it on the YouTube channel, you know, of Rail Cab, just to say that I was approaching. And uh, I'm gonna walk to the end, and do a little jig. I don't know what I'm gonna do, no idea. But yeah, let's try that. So there's the Azumas coming in and out. And there is the camera. I've done a little jig. Hello everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from La Mega Sim. The next video will be the return journey back on cross country. Will we get a first class ticket? I don't know right at this moment. We'll find out an hour before we leave. But no, thanks again everyone. We will see you soon. This is Mega Sim out of here. See you later guys. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, I was here for a couple more minutes, so I thought I'd just take a video of this coming in. Red Car Central, this one's going to. And uh, I believe this one's gonna go in a minute because I keep hearing the whistle. And uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll be out of here because I've got to go to work. Here it goes. See you soon, guys. Bye.